think we made it out before everyone else did. Hey, watch out, bro. I'm driving. Oh, sorry, sorry. And why are you wearing those ridiculous clothes? You should have just changed in there. How much even were those? It's like $150. It's my lucky shirt. Oh, it's 50, bro. You're crazy. You look ridiculous. I mean, why? What's wrong with that? Bro, you you can consider that 150 to be money flushed down the drain. You're never wearing those after tonight. I can wash them after. They'll still look nice. Oh. Have you seen any of the episodes of CSI? They can literally find the smallest amount of dirt on your clothes and track you. We're burning those after tonight. Why didn't you not tell me that beforehand? Oh, Doug, I did not think you were going to be stupid enough to not think of this, okay? That's on you. Well, I guess I can dig without him on. I'm not helping you bury this body, baby. Here. Hey, bro, stop touching my mirror, bro. Jerk. Man, why are you so extra all the time? Like, didn't you buy that light-size cutout of Michael Jordan last week? Yeah, and it's pretty nice. Okay, let's say, and again, this is hypothetical because it would never happen to you, but you actually bring a girl home for once, the first thing she's going to see when she gets in your house is a cutout of Michael Jordan. I guarantee it's going to scare her, and she's never coming back again. But like, what if she a hooper though, you feel me? You feel me? Don't get your hand out of my face. You know, what if I wear my underwear? What? Yeah, like, I'll wear my underwear when we're digging. No, look bro, you're wearing what you're wearing. Case closed. Open it, bro. Why me? In case he's still alive and found something in there to attack us with? It's your car. I think you should open it. Nah, bro. You killed the man, and now you gotta face what you did. I killed him. Yes. You killed him. You just threw me the gun. Doug, open the trunk. I'm not opening the trunk. Hey, bro. <sighs> you know, you're super pathetic, right? Yeah. So take I... that. Oh, my. All right. I'm gonna open up the trunk. Okay. Okay. If he's still alive, still moving, you swing at him as hard as you can, okay? I got you. Understood? On you. All right. Here we Three, go. Three, two, one. Oh, snap. It's empty. He's not in there. I think you forgot him. Nah, nah, bro. I killed the man, and you were supposed to put the body in the trunk. Oh, so you're the killer now, unlike a few moments ago. How convenient. You're unbelievable. Get in the car. You know, this is on you, bro. I'll beat you with this bag. This is on you. Right. Oh, my gosh. Are you sure we have the body this time? Ha ha, very funny. Why don't you check in the back of the trunk and see? Snap, bro, it's the police. They know it's us, bro, they know. Hey, just chill and act natural, bro, we're fine. I can't go to jail. I've never been to jail. I'm too young to go to jail. I've Doug, heard what they do in Doug. jail. Just act natural, calm down, act normal, we're fine. They just just chill, told me to calm down. Just be quiet. I look horrible in orange, you know that. Uh, hey, hey, look, they passed us, bro, we're good. <laughs> you should have saw your face, though, bro. You were so scared. Hey man, this is the wrong way. What do you mean? This is the wrong way. It's already taken us 20 minutes. It only took us 10 minutes to get back here. Look bro, I hunt here all the time. I know where we're going, I'm a pro, okay? Just trust me. Yeah, a professional hunter who shoots his prey and then leaves the body behind. What a pro. First of all, Shamrock Shake, why don't you shut up, be quiet, and let me drive, and we can focus on this task, okay? About that, can we go somewhere else, man? Bro, where else would we go? You know I hate forests. They're dark, it's creepy, there's wild animals out there. Bro, Doug, 
we have a whole dead body in the back of this car and your biggest concern is stuff out in the forest? You're tripping, bro. Hey, hey, what? stop the car. Why? Look at that. A volleyball court? Yes, no one will suspect a thing. It's perfect. You know, Doug, at all your stupid ideas, bro, this one might not be the worst. I'm just done with tonight, so I screw it. Let's do it. Well, he's in there now. Great. So I'll grab the head and you grab the feet. I got a better idea. <laughs> Jerk. Okay, bro, grab that shovel. We gotta start digging because sunrise is coming soon, alright? But what happens if someone comes by and digs us up? Bro, no one is gonna find this, and if you don't stop talking, I'm gonna hit you in the mouth with the shovel. I bet you won't, because if you do, you're gonna be digging by yourself. But it'll be so worth it when I throw you in there. Okay, my fault. Start digging. Come on. Gosh. Whew. We would have known that digging a hole would be such hard work. Hey, 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 man. Don't do that. It's bad for the environment. Are you serious? Yeah. It'll take 20 years for this thing to decompose in here. Bro, Doug, there's a whole dead body right there, and your biggest concern is some pollution and trash? Hey, global warming. It's important. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get back to work. <sighs> here, hand me that shovel. Yeah. Thanks. Wait. What was that? Bro, I know we shouldn't have dug here. This was a stupid place. Help me cover up this hole. Oh, wait. Do you think this hole's deep enough? Bro, if we dig any deeper, we'll hit China soon. Heads up. Hey, manners. He's still a human. You wouldn't like that if someone treated you that way. Bro, shut up. He is dead. No one cares. Help me fill up this hole. The sun's rising soon. Hey, sleepy boy. Wake up, man. You still got something on your chin. Hmm? Look, Doug. I wish you would have clarified last night that we were invited to a Hunger Games themed party. Uh, anyway, what'd you do with the gun? What do you mean? Your gun? Yeah. I, I thought, thought you, you took, took it! it.